Hey gang, Eric here. Welcome to Still Not Schmeal Show. Today is Veda Day 28. But Eric, it's actually the 29th. Oh my god, what? I uh, didn't make a video yesterday, and I was thinking about skipping it, but we're so close to the end of this uh, vlogging every day thing that... Oh, why, why miss on one of the last rare opportunities to make a video for this, right? So, figure we'll go ahead and do it. Um, but I don't really have much to talk about, really. I woke up feeling very kind of drained today. I feel like I'm recovering from the lack of sleep I got over this weekend. Um, didn't get much sleep yesterday, and I wound up falling asleep very early last night, but I didn't sleep very long. And today I was just kind of like dragging myself around, man. Had trouble focusing on work. Haven't really been able to do much of that. Um, I did get out of the house, though, and I rode my bike around. Uh, I finally got it filled up with uh, air, the, the tires in it. Um, I hadn't done that since I purchased it, and it was just brutal to ride that thing, man. I'd go one block, and I'd feel like my thighs were on fire and just exhausted. And I'd be reading, people were like, oh, I rode 11 miles on my bike today. And like, okay, something has to be wrong here, right? <laughs> I mean, I'm not in the best shape of my life, but I should be able to do it longer than that. And now that I got air in the tires, it's like, oh my god, it's like I have the bike for the first time, like for real now. <laughs> it was pretty awesome. Um, I'm thinking about taking it across the river to an uh, art space. My mom actually has a, a piece hanging in the gallery. for. Um, they have some kind of fundraiser show for, a, for an animal shelter. Furs something or something. <laughs> and um, I had to miss her opening reception because I had to squeeze in as much work as I could before the, uh, the wedding day. Um, so I might, that might be my first longer-ish trip using the bike to get around the city and take it over there across Manchester. It doesn't look too bad, it's just like two miles, but still. Um, so that'll be cool. I've been kind of, I've been on the exhale uh, creatively from video lately. Um, been kind of looking at some other stuff, been kind of in the mood for some other stuff, or maybe just today. I've been thinking about trying to get my stuff out there more lately, um, like submitting some of my poems for publication. Um, and, uh, my photography. I'm thinking about getting my photography out there a bit more. I got this idea where, um, I'll take one of these poster boards, kind of like how I have up there. See that poster board with all those photographs on it? Uh, those are my photographs, little four by sixes. One day I set up a little stand in Carytown and tried to sell them at a pay-what-you-can price. But it's mostly just about, like, getting my stuff out there and having people actually see it, right? <laughs> More than anything, I just want people to, to see the thing and hopefully like it. And people did. And I made 20 bucks in two hours. That was pretty rad. <laughs> I was thinking about taking a similar poster board and just driving a nail into my windowsill and just like hanging the poster board from my window outside. And just having my own little window gallery, right? And just get. There's lots of foot traffic in the area, so whoever just wanders by can look at my stuff if they want to. And I have a little number. If anyone wants something, they can text me. I'll come out and be like, yeah, it's like five bucks or whatever. You know, no, just a way to get it out there. And I want to do like proper, like, I guess, exhibits in a weird sense. Like, I, I want it to have like a, like a theme, right? I want there to be an idea behind it. Like, you know, with a statement about what this means. And I got an idea for some kind of like, I guess, um, what would you call a, a group of photographs? I don't feel right calling it an exhibit because it's a poster board hanging from my windows, for God's sake. <laughs> right? But, um, different theme shows trying to express a certain idea. That kind of stuff. And plus, Richmond Camera is just right up the street from here, so it'd be really easy to go get the prints. And so, yeah, I've been kind of thinking about that as far as just kind of getting my work out there a bit more lately. I was taking a lot of photos today, just riding around town, Seeing little moments here and there. <laughs> Been really blowing up my Instagram feed. Y'all should check out my Instagram. I got some nice stuff on there, I think. <laughs> it's it's interesting. I feel like Instagram, I don't want to put, like, the stuff I'm super proud of on there, but it's a great way just to get, like, your fun photos out there. Because there's a lot of photos that are like, okay, this isn't necessarily something that should be displayed and presented as, oh, this is my art. But it's still interesting and still nice, right? It's a pretty image, and it looks good, even if there's not exactly a lot of substance behind it. Um, and it's a great place for that kind of stuff. I really like that. <laughs> it's neat. Yeah. 
Um, I guess that's enough talking. I'll try to make a second video later today. Um, but yeah, I feel like I'm kind of on the exhale on a video right now. It's been really fun making a video every day. I feel like I've come up with some really interesting creative stuff. Like my second week was probably the strongest one there. Um, but I think I'm ready to, I guess, breathe and play around with some other things, at least just for like a few days. <laughs> right? And it should be interesting going back to... I want to carry this on past Veda. Not every day, but, you know, stick to a once a week thing with some some videos that have had some effort put into them. I got some ideas and stuff. And hopefully we can uh, do some great things with that. Yeah. I'll talk to y'all later tonight.